Uh, I have one question now. I can go back uh, to the decision of moving from fully employed, which we call the most secured job, which you started with, to go to employ yourself, owning a business, self-employed. One, it is difficult even for born and raised here in America, but becomes even more difficult for immigrants when we come here we come here with a mindset, oh, if I go and just stand at Walmart, just take the little bags, I can get $10 per hour. So we come with the mindset of working because most of the jobs which you have been raised in our countries, in Africa, Asia, Latin America, you just study and go to work. Most of us is that way. So when you come here, you continue that mindset. And the, what, how long did it take for you? And what was the drive that I cannot do this anymore. I have to own my own business. Yeah, to be honest with you, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm always a person of business opportunities. I like business more than anything. So I have tried several business before. So when I found this, I mean, yes, it was hard because you know when you go to work, you are you're sure every two weeks to get your paycheck, to get yes. benefits, and all those kind of things. You know pretty more secure, but for how long? And you know, as long as you're able to go to work, that's when you can get paid. If something happens, when you're sick, uh, when you just want to move another part of the world, that means you have to leave everything behind. So it's secure for the short term, to be honest. A job is secure for the short term, but it really not is secure, secure. You're not going to take to the grave, you know? So that's the thing. So, uh, so as I say, yes, it was kind of scary, you know, get out of your comfort zone. You know, but I knew that it's just going to be for some time. And, it, and I knew, and, and the thing is about a, uh, a business opportunity, it can just show up uh, just at this particular, the doors can open only at a certain time. So that means if you don't jump in right then, you find it harder for you to do that in the future. Yeah. You know, while the jobs are always there waiting for you, even my staff, I mean, as long as I'm my education, I can go back to teach at any time if I want to. You see? But building foundation for me was important because I figured the doors has opened. This is an opportunity that has presented itself. So if it, if it wasn't me, then somebody else will jump into it. Say for example, I would say, okay, I don't wanna do this right now. I feel I prefer to do my job. Somebody could jump into it and overtake me, you see? So I figured, okay, let me put on my all. Let me build a foundation, you know? So when I have a strong and firm foundation in the future, you know, I, I couldn't go back to work and still do this business at the same time because yes. uh, the kids, you know, they're learning the evening. They have to go to school first or they're doing it on weekends, you know. Yes. So that also could, I could work and do that. But only after I have built a, a strong foundation, I've marketed myself because initially it's kind of hard to get the word out, you know, and also prepare the, the lesson to vision and, and, and all those kind of things, you know, all about creating. Yes. Because when you do things, and you really don't have anybody to copy from. So that means that's when the authenticity is coming from. So you really have to work harder, put you know, creativity, reader, research, market, and, and then nobody, and I say nobody, will tell you how to do business. It has to be, it has to be something you own. You just have to, to combine here and here and here, and you create something unique of your own. So it's a lot of work. So I, I, as I say, for anybody, you can go to it at any time. But when you have a business opportunity, it's better to just go out and grab it right then. And then yes. you figure it out later. Uh, apart from the work and other things, one of the things also, uh, people, when they make a decision whether to go for self-employed or continue with that one, we are talking about the benefits. That's number one. Usually, like, okay, how will I be able to do that? Uh, but also, uh, some people, well, this is moving that way, some people, they take uh, self-employment, owning the business as an opportunity for tax write-off. Uh, can you explain to someone uh, the benefits uh, of being uh, self-employed when it comes to tax and other opportunities, even taking a loan, all those kind of things than being just employed somewhere and you go you as you, but here you can go you as a uh, limited company liability. How does that will be more benefit in this particular area than the other one? Yeah, okay, that's very true. Uh, when you do a business, there's more flexibility. <laughs> there's more flexibility when it comes to taxes because a lot of things that, in a lot of costs that 
I tax the that, but compared to, like say, when you're hired, because when you're hired, you really don't have um, any option. They just have to take their payroll tax, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter what you're going to do with the rest of the money, but they just have to take it. Whether the money, the rest of the money is enough for you or not, but they just have to make sure that they take the payroll tax. But for business, uh, yeah, I, 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 I would see that there's a lot of benefits when it comes to taxes. And uh, yeah, it, it's true. A lot of things are deductible, traveling, you know, even food or whatever, yeah. you know, internet. You you cannot deduct internet from here yeah, you, when you file your regular taxes, you know. But uh, when it comes to business, yes, I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of others. Yeah, but that's not the only benefit that you get. Flexibility, you know, just be your own boss. You really don't have anybody to scare you that you know you did this wrong, that you're gonna be fired, or you're yeah. getting first write up, second write up, and things like that. So there's a, uh, I feel like there's more, of a, <laughs> <laughs> there's more of a peace of mind. You yes. know, to be honest, you know, especially if you have a family, you have kids. There's a lot of flexibility. And another thing I can tell you that also, uh, when you when you're getting paid, uh, your 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 income is fixed. For the most part, I, I until you wait when you wait for that raise, you know, yeah. they, they if they give it to you at the end of the year. But you know, I remember myself, you know, at some point when I truly needed money, like if I really, 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 really need money right now, I mean I can work so hard, you know, market, market, do this, do that, I can do so <laughs> much more. You know, so and then and then, now, honestly, and then that's the biggest thing that I feel like in it it, it, it it's a, it's a fi financial flexibility. You truly have financial flexibility, yeah. If you want to make more, you can always make more. Yeah. If you, 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 it means that like in employment, if my, I get 4000 per year, I mean per month, uh, meaning by the end of the year they can give raise 2%, no matter how hard you work, that is the raise. But on my business, if I work hard, I put two hours extra every single day, I can increase more customers, I can increase my business. So that means there is an uh, unlimited amount on how I can raise, I can get raised in a year, than this one which is a fixed, to get even, if you get 4%, it will be so special here in America, but majority they go maximum is 3%, which is small. And yeah, 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 that's one thing I can say. Not so much limited, but yes, <laughs> No, it's, I, I mean, and yeah, yeah, I'm, like, I, I can give, is, yeah, I can give an example for this, my YouTube, for instance, I'm giving example. If I want uh -huh. to get more money this month, I put more videos. <laughs> <laughs> but if I say, let me add it three hours every single day, that is something else. And if I die or I retire, I can transfer the business to someone else. But if you retire, next week they put another employee <laughs> to replace you. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, so that is a very good way. Uh, and for me, usual, I encourage most of the immigrant even if you are not going to be fully business person in America, but just try to find a way of a side house on the side to keep growing slowly, but at one point you can decide, okay, can I do this full time or not? But just, but if don't wait until you retire, then let me go to do business. You have lost so many years, you could grow and take more chances. You can start doing Amazon, you can do like online teaching, you can do some uh, uh, eBay, and even like those Amazon, eBay, you can decide like, I don't need to do anything. I buy, it goes to Amazon, they pack, they fix, they sell, they give you not bigger profit, but it is good to start to start. Like find a way on how you can start a side hustle, it can help you on one way or another. Because if you do that one, even if how small it is, you do for 10 years, it is easier, you can say you can quit, but if you don't do that at all, 10 years to come, 20 years to come, and if you are not in a very good, like those high tech, or you are not in the, you see medical, you'll be ending getting paid this small amount of money and get you stressed every single day. Yeah, that's right, because when you do like a hard side hustle, like you say, even if it gives you two, $300 extra every month, that, it, 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 so it, what it will, it will do is you give that kind of money they can spend maybe for gas and food, and you can be able to save your, your, your paycheck for the most part. Yes. You know, because one the scary thing about, uh, uh, I mean, I say a paycheck is like when you just get it, and it's just going down, you know, you pay, you know, take power, you know, maybe rental mortgage, maybe... I mean, I'm telling you, just a check is just going, I mean, all the way. And then before you know it, two, three days after a page, 
after getting paid, you're, you're looking forward for the, for the another two weeks to come. Yeah. To pay. Yeah. So that's the thing. When you have a side house, even like even when I was going, I was teaching full time before I started teaching. So I've always been teaching math. I started teaching tutoring, math tutoring since 2013. I still do right now. Yeah. You know, also, I still do. I don't do in the you know as in that capacity you know as as i used to because i kind of feel like i'm so busy with so healing that's where my focus is because when i was doing math it was kind of hard you know i couldn't get another person to to teach that for me and me pay them because then yeah. i just don't try that much and, and then not many people know it's math you know so uh it's kind of i can't find a substitute but when it comes to so healing i can teach and also i can get other people like helping me like right now i have like three more t teachers that are, are helping me to to teach for healing so that's the reason but i still keep the math i still you know it's gonna give me yeah. gonna give me not that much per se but that's okay and besides i'm changing you know i'm changing the world because you're helping kids exactly you know the kids are coming and struggling and then you see that they're improving their parents are appreciating so there's kind of satisfaction also that you're getting because sometimes it's not just all about money uh, and I want to challenge you on a few things. Uh, just the way you are growing your business, there are a few things you have to think a little bit at higher level. Number okay. one, you need to create an app. App, okay. So that would be something number one. <laughs> because uh, which will be easier, someone, uh, you put the same materials in the app and his monthly okay. subscription, even if it's $5 per month. Okay. People can be able to subscribe. Uh, pay is okay. a penny app. You can people can be able to use that one. That would be something okay. good. Even if you go like I'm giving you example, those uh, Rosetta, they don't have. First of all, they don't, the app don't have Swahili. And if anything, Swahili is a very poor. I don't know. They took from somewhere. Someone going to the Google search it, go translate. So you need to create your own app. That would be something is a bigger project. That means okay. you can be able to. You don't need to teach. You just pay. People pay you while you are sleeping. You are going for vacation in Kilimanjaro. Going to Mount Kilimanjaro to the peak, you are going there, you are enjoying, you don't need to worry, money goes through the app. That's yeah, number one. That's right. Okay. Number two, you need to create also, apart from you teaching, you need to create those teaching, lesson, recording all the lessons, like in greetings, whatever, and put them as a official package course. That means you can sell the course as audio book, kind of that. You can sell the same course is a video which are on uh, Udemy website. You can put your course there. Someone can, can buy your course on Udemy. And if you have YouTube channel, YouTube channel you are allowed to have membership. So if uh, someone is a member, maybe he's paying $5 per month, will be able to access those lectures again? So that will be okay. another different way. Like you need to have other streams of different ways. And also, you can also think about, let's go even further. Let me create uh, some of the same t classes because some can be audio. You put also them as a uh, podcast. You just upload okay. this. There's some video. You just move the audio. You go to the podcast. Go. So you don't need to make more. It's just how you stream everywhere. Meaning, okay. you can, apart from, you can be able to teach, but you can be get be able to, to continue to spread so many. Because there are some people nowadays is podcast. People are going to using app, whatever. So you can have other things instead of just let me teach. Because usually I tell people, when you create a business. Among other things, find a business, yes, with a passion and everything, which you can sit one day, you can say, today I want, don't want to work anything, or to, this week I don't want to work, but you don't get stressed about the money will come in other forms. That is Bill Gates right. thinking. So, those are the things like, you can say, okay, students, this month I'm going for vacation. This is your assignment to be able to do this one. You are gone. And money can still come through other ways. Not you come back, you are in the vacation, you are starting crying like, oh, if I'm buying a burger, I'm using more money, I don't have the money until I go back to teach you again. No, the money will be coming while you are still sleeping. So that will be the, my challenge yeah. for you to think about those kind of areas where you can be able to expand at a more higher level. Yeah, that's, that's very good advice. Thank you very much. And it's something that I'm looking forward to to implement. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Because this journey is just going to be one year. So there's a lot to learn and a lot to structure. Yeah, but honestly, I mean, having online learning, like where you have subscribers, they can just come there 
and just learn, you know, that's my really number one goal at the moment right now. Thank you so much.